Cascade Sports, this is Marlo Garlington. We're here at Open Gym at Penn Valley. Right now we have Ed Wilson. How's it going, bro? Hey, what's going on? Uh, can you give us a little rundown of your basketball career starting from high school? Yeah, I was a uh, really a late bloomer. Uh, I, didn't play, I didn't play basketball to my junior year in high school at Southwest High School. Uh, you know, I played, played two years there, played varsity, like, you know, 16 to 12. Uh, you know, I had nice little accolades that year. I had I played with a guy named Mike Freeman in seventh grade. We went all the way down to the the, uh, the section of the state. You know, with 23 and three with Coach Madison, I believe. Uh, you know, I was a uh, I had a pretty good high school career. And what are you doing now? Uh, right now, right now I'm coaching. I'm coaching here in Penn Valley, my my alma mater. You know, I played uh, junior college ball here. You know, I had a uh, Shit, yeah, really, some would say excellent career here. Uh, you know, uh, took second in national. You know, we lost about one point in the national championship game. Here, I think I averaged uh, like 18 to 13 my freshman year, 23 to 13 my sophomore year. It was the first team All American. Uh, player of the year in the conference. Uh, second all time rebounder here, sixth all time in scoring. So yeah, I had a good career here. Yeah, those are pretty good uh, accolades. Mm -hmm. I would say, how long have you been coaching here? Uh, this will be my fourth year. Okay, and how do you enjoy it? I love it, man. I, I love, you know, I love giving back. I love helping, I love helping the youth out, you know what I'm saying? Especially right young black youth, but any, any, any youth or anybody, period, you know, I love helping out, you know what I'm saying? I mean, basketball, I love the sport. And I feel like, you know, I thought, I thought I know a lot about the game, and I, you know, I got a lot to get. So, I mean, I mean, it's a perfect, I think it's a perfect situation for me to start out in under Coach Harvard. Uh, and I mean, right now, I'm just enjoying it. How did y'all fare out last year? Uh, we ended up taking, we ended up going to stay, ended up finishing uh, seventh in the nation. Uh, my state, I'm in nationals, but we ended up finishing seventh in the uh, nation. Uh, we had a bad, couple of bad breaks. We lost, we lost a lot of kids down the stretch. A lot of, a lot of good kids. And, I mean, we still managed to, you know, uh, so get to the nationals. You know, beat the number one team in the nation while we were down in nationals. Uh, then you know, we just, you know, we dropped the ball a couple. We ended up taking seven. But uh, it's, it, I mean, like that, that everything's a learning experience. You know, we lost, we lost four, we lost four to five of our top, top kids. And still was able to, you know what I'm saying, have a successful season. So that, that takes the type of talent we usually have up here. All right. Any top notables for this upcoming season you'd like to mention? Uh, yeah, we have uh, we have Maurice Mason. He's our, he's our point guard. Uh, he's supposed to be back on the court this season. We have a couple more kids coming in, uh, a couple of nice freshmen. You know, we have the Shaq for the same. I think, he, I think he'll be uh, pretty big. We've got some kids coming back. Uh, we got some kids coming. We got some nice, some nice, some nice size kids coming in. Uh, definitely more recent, you know, to watch for more recent. Great. All right. Last question. With Cascade Sports being home of the student athletes, tell the youngest coming up how important it is to get your education, also while playing sports. I mean, I mean, because one thing about it, uh, one thing, yeah, your brain is going to outlast your body. Uh, and I mean. Everybody that takes in sports and everybody's parents, you know, they tell them you know this and that. But realistically, man, um, I mean, the percentage is so small of kids making in sports or people making period in sports to go on and make money to where they can take care of their family and all. Uh, I mean, the books is where it's at because as long as you got that piece of paper, you can always get out here and do something. Uh, but I mean, even if you are a, a, a star, a breakout, you know, a juggernaut of an athlete, and you know, got. Thousand teams, professional teams on you. I mean, you you can break your leg the next day, and without you know without no no knowledge, man, there's nothing you can do out here. So I mean, very important. I encourage any all any and all kids to put put books first. Period. But I mean, you know, I'm a uh, I'm two degrees in. Now, you know, and I mean, a lot of people when I was in school. When I was going to college, a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, first of all, they couldn't believe it, but then definitely they just knew I wasn't, you know what I'm saying, going to excel in the classroom. But, you know, people really didn't know who I was. So. All right, you heard it first from Ed Wilson, assistant coach at Penn Valley. 
This is Cascade Sports. Thank you. What's up, Kansas City? We are Cascade Media Group. CMG is calling all small businesses, organizations, solicitors of products or services that would like to reach their KC Metro viewers and would like our help. We produce commercials, promote, advertise, and film events. Not to mention display company banners, including a link to your website on either of our sites. That's whatsupkansascity.net, the premier outlet for Kansas City. Or cascadesports.tv, home of the student athletes. If you're interested, contact CMG at 816-389-0259. Or email us at mgcascademediagroup at hotmail.com. And remember, it, it pays, pays to advertise. advertise.